What is up guys, Rhythm Rider back again. Another epic adventure. Guys, as you can see, quiet room. I'm inside an abandoned insane asylum, guys. Let's check it out. Inside the quiet room, guys. Bars, like those are these are steel bars kind of along here. Look at the paint peel. Look at this, guys. Nice paint peels all over the walls. Staff room. Locked. That was a bathroom. Got two, four, five. Six, seven, eight sinks. What is up, guys? So right now, guys, I'm on the top floor. This is one building of many, but most of the other buildings are active now, which is nice to see something like this get repurposed. Oh, wow. And like, the paint is peeling layers and layers of paint. So much nice decay, okay, guys. Look at this. The ceiling fan. Totally frigged. Oh, there's a bird's nest here. That's cool. Housekeeping and like, there's so much water getting in here. So there's a couple of inches of ice in certain areas. Oh wow, guys this place is huge. As you can see, I'm several stories up inside this facility. And look at that decay. It's a very wintry, cold day. You guys, I can see someone's name on this. Look at this. Robert Galt. That's a patient name. That's pretty sloppy to leave. That. Oh, there's another. Chris Jared. Nice paint peels. Mickey Mouse stuff. All over the walls. These must be all patient rooms. I can't believe the names of people are still on here. Stan Schwab. These are actually nicely decorated. They're not so asylum-y feeling. You got some blue wallpaper, a normal kind of uh, lamp or ceiling light. light. guys smoking lounge went in room nice 
nice decay in this place. Let's go down to the other wing. Now guys, this is the top floor. There's multiple floors in this building. So who knows what we could find. It's all part of the adventure. Oh, look at the decay in here. So this must be a nurse's station right here. Oh, check this out. Resident records. Guys, this is crazy. I can't believe there's stuff actually left behind here. This seems to be a female ward or wing. Oh, this is Patrick McDonald. Dilemma, dilemma room. I don't know what that means. I noticed over here we got Linda Hill and we've got Colleen Goslin. I'm really surprised they've kept patient names. Look at Douglas Reed. This is a pretty sweet spot. I hope you're enjoying it. This might be a pretty long video, but it's gonna be worth it, guys. What do you want to find in this asylum? It's clowns. Oh my god. Guys. Legit the creepiest wallpaper I have ever seen. Look at this. Imagine being locked up in an asylum and this is your wallpaper. Wow. If you weren't crazy, you certainly are now. Legit creepy stuff, guys. But I'm always, I'm still on the top floor. There's like three or four more floors left, so this is gonna be a sick explorer. Long vid, but y'all love those long vids because there's just so much. Plus, with the new gimbal, everything is super steady motion. So, all right, guys, let's keep moving on. All right, guys, now I'm on the third floor. Really icy here. So I don't know if there's any doors closed, I won't be able to get into them. Nice decay in here though. Just loving the paint peel. 
And I'm not sure if this was children or adults, but a lot of the stuff seems to be geared towards children. Look at this. That's pretty weird. This is like a nice finish. I wonder if this is like a lounge. This might be the smoking lounge, because I remember this side of the uh, asylum had, on the upper floor, had the same thing. Oh, crime scene. I can't get some of these doors, guys, because they're frozen shut. There's probably an inch or so of ice that's hindering me from getting in some of these. Uh, poke my head in here. You guys can see I can't. Well, I guess I can when I edit. <laughs> Guys, this is a pretty cool explorer. I'm hoping you guys are digging it. It's like my first big explorer of the year and big uh, epic road trip. So I hope you guys are enjoying this because I am loving it. And there's so much more to come. Like, can you see the ice on the floor? Wow. Look at the paint pee on the elevators. That's so cool. Another big room. Oh, what's this? They've got residents' names and like different times for things to happen. Oh, this is the staff office here. storage room. What's in here? Just another room. Guys, there's something up here that's caught my eye. I don't know what that is. Oh, I thought there was like a bird stuck in the window. It's like some weird, um, it is a bird, but it's like a decoration. This is a really cool place, guys. I'm sure you can hear all the crunching and everything, because all the floors and ceiling and walls are just covered in debris. Try to get down the, through these doors before, but they're frozen solid. You guys, if you weren't aware, a lot of these places shut down in the, uh, started to shut down in the 80s and 90s because of the mistreatment of patient, patients as well. The government wanted to change how we dealt with the, you know, the, the mentally ill people. So that's why there's a lot of these buildings that are abandoned now. Emergency equipment. I guess this is where they kept whatever they needed in the case of an emergency. Super saggy ceiling fan. Let's 
Let's see what else we can find down here, guys. So like I said, we're on the third floor right now. Oh, got another bathroom. Weird how those are like face to face. <laughs> Obviously there's a dividing wall. Got more toilets and got some showers over here, three shower stalls. Oh, and a tub. Could be. Another bathtub in here. What is up, guys? What is up? <laughs> I know y'all love that. I think I might have loved it more than you guys. This seems to be all patient rooms. Oh, look at these curtains. And every room I've noticed has some sort of a different theme. Nothing looks the same, except for the shape. Like all the wallpaper's different. Got some nice country wallpaper there. This must be an office. Oh, look at this. Got a tub right there. Oh, another mirror. What is up, guys? Oh, cool. And this thing's frozen right into the ground, guys. like a kitchen area you got trays so this might be where the staff like washes up you know dishes after the uh, patients um, eat their meals and here's the doors I tried to get in before like the other ones they're frozen solid let's see what I mean guys like every room has different uh, different window coverings what's this oh this is like a light fixture or maybe that's for a potpourri or something These doors frozen solid right where they stand or lay I guess I can hear somebody right outside plowing but I'm okay so guys pretty cool spot couple more floors to explore not sure what else we're gonna find here but I'm pretty happy with what I'm finding so far so let's go keep exploring
here. Interesting. Oh, look at the wall. All that paint peel, guys. That's some nice stuff for sure. I love natural decay. And honestly, these rooms are all starting to look the same. It's a pretty similar layout throughout the whole uh, facility so far. But different curtains, different wallpapers, the exact same layout. What is up, guys? So now the people that used to live in these facilities, um, when they shut them all down, they all live in group homes now. And the government takes good care of them. Everybody got really big settlements because um, there was a lot of uh, neglect and abuse and all that stuff. So fortunately, um, they're in much better care now. They, they have a lot more freedom. Um, they can you know, learn stuff if they'd like to learn stuff which I think is pretty darn good considering what they went through before. So that looks like about it for this floor, guys. Uh, I'm gonna take a couple more pictures and then we'll probably head down to the next floor. All right. Let's go down to this side, guys. It's pretty cold today. But that's not going to stop me from getting my Urbex on, as you guys already know. This looks like office areas. up here. Housekeeping. So this would definitely have been the administrative uh, part of the hospital. There could be some low risk patients uh, housed down here. But from my understanding, is that the uh, the more dangerous? Oh, look at this! Got a cowboy hat, guys. A sheriff's hat. So this is the ground floor, guys, so let's see what we can find. Oh, there's a stove in here. Oh, it's an old school refrigerator. With that, hey? Pink dials. Wow, look at the decay in the kitchen. Not very sanitary. Classic Urbex chair right there, Urbexin. Guys, this is a really cool spot. The funny thing is, it is freezing in here, but as I walked by the door that I came in, you could feel the warm air pouring in. So it's supposed to be a mild day today. But yeah, everything seems to really be designed the same each level. Same layout, same room styles. It's just a matter of, oh, Montreal Canadiens fan was up in here. As you can see by the uh, wallpaper um, or frame, whatever the hell that's called. Oh, we've got some furniture here. Some weird bench. Oh, look at it. So sheets, towels, bottoms, pieces. 
PJs, underwear, socks. So this must be like near the laundry room where all the main uh, clothing was washed. Another bathroom over there. Oh, this is a big room. Oh, look at this. There's furniture in here. Got some t desks. Guys, look at this. Looks like there's a Cabbage Patch Kid stuck up in there. We'll have to go on the other side to see. This seems to be like a classroom, which is good because it's, you know, you got to teach people at least something so their mind doesn't become mush and, and the people that are in here even more mush. Let's see. doesn't look like it because the ceilings all come down guys I'm thinking this is more like in the activity area they did you know teaching and training and all that sort of thing for the patients yeah, there's a chalkboard over there so this is another classroom oh oh look at this so first, this is really cool. You got lunch room chair, or bench table and chairs. But look at this over here, guys. We've got a built-in a cabinet radio. That's pretty cool. Very cool. No records there. This is definitely. Oh, this is another chalkboard. So this is all. Oh, look at this bike. An old school ten-speed medalist bike. Hilarious. This floor actually seems to have a lot more stuff than all the other floors. Wonder why that is. So there's one more wing to go down. And then I think that's pretty much it for this building, guys. Really wish I could get into that room with that other TV. Prints are creeping me out. What's that? Oh, it's some cough medicine. This place is echoey and crunchy, super crunchy. What's over here? Oh, wow. All right, guys, well, that's the end of this epic adventure, Abandoned Insane Asylum, with your boy, Rhythm Rider. January 2019, way to kick off the new year, guys. All right, well, if you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Smash the like button and always come back, because Rhythm Rider always has that epic shit. All right, guys, peace.